Hi guys, Shan here from Sister Designs. So today I am actually making a storage drying rack for some of my work. Um, I've seen a few online but they're quite expensive. So at the moment I am using a cut lube by Euro Tool um, to uh, lubricate the saw which helps it to slide better against the wood. You'll find if you don't use it, I mean you don't have to use it but it helps it just to slide it better and you'll notice it'll start to get stuck when you need to um, redo it again so um, the lube was from one of the jeweler stores um, I'll make a note in the description as to where I've purchased uh, some of the items I'm using an adjustable saw which I purchased from Kodak Jewelers a few years ago uh, it was about $27 back then so the timber is actually from Bunnings. Um, you can find it down in the timber section, which is right at the end of the store. Um, it is a Tassie Oak Dull, and it's a six millimeters by 1.2 meters in length. Um, I paid about $3.52 Australian. Um, the normal price is about $3.70 per rod. Um, if you have a power pass, a Bunnings Power Pass, you're able to get a discount. Um, so I think you need to have a ABN at least to access to get that. And you can do it online anyway. So I'll pop it down in the description. Just using some pruning shears to cut the ends. And also now I'm just um, sanding down the dowels a little bit um, because they won't fit into the pegboard. So the pegboard is actually also from Bunnings. Um, it is 572 millimeters by 200 millimeters. Um, and I'll also pop the, um, the description down for you as well. So I've tried a few different uh, techniques on sanding. I keep coming back to the Trojan sanding block. That's about an 80 grit. Um, also tried the electric version as well um, but unfortunately it wasn't working for me today so does anyone else have issues with the stickers they can never get anything I can never get them off so <laughs> there's got to be an easy way to do it the grit on the sandpaper was also 80 and uh, before I forget Bunnings are also able to cut timber for you if you need it. Um, I think they charge about 50 cents per, uh, per timber but I'm not sure regarding these because they're quite small. Also before you start to sand it down I recommend checking to see whether they fit some of them uh, did and I didn't need to sand them down. The pegboard with, which is actually a backing plate flexi storage um, cost me about $16.40 that was also from Bunnings. Um, also I wouldn't recommend using really large canvases I think the biggest one I had in there was 40 by 50 centimeters um, yeah I just find anything bigger it starts to weigh it down too much thanks guys for watching hopefully this gives someone some ideas